Hello all, here's my top five Swiss Army Knives video. Manager, Explorer Plus, CyberTool 34, uh, will be called CyberTool M going forward. Um, One-handed Trekker, not serrated, and WorkChamp. Let's start with the humble little manager. This is probably the one I carry the most. Uh, it's just got a great little tool set, easy to carry in the pocket, uh, even for desk, you know, guys with desk jobs like me. You just got a, uh, you know, small knife blade. The Tornox is excellent combo tool. That Phillips tip works on number ones and twos. Bottle opener, wire stripper here. On the other side, we've got the scissors. Really a useful tool and the nail file with screwdriver tip. Incidentally, instead of having a tweezers over here, they've got a ballpoint pen inside the handle scale. And then you fold out your nail file and you can write with it like that. I find that more useful in an office job than a uh, tweezers. Uh, and so I replaced the tweezers that it came with with a toothpick because I use that a lot. And one little uh, nifty thing about this is that you can see the key ring nub is here. When you have this hanging from your keys in your car, you'll notice that the scissors and the knife blade both open away from the key ring. So that's kind of nice. On the classic, the scissors opens away from the key ring but the blade opens into the key ring. So this is, if I had anything that I call the quote, quote, everyday carry, this would be it, the humble little 58 millimeter manager. Next up, Explorer Plus. It's a little bigger knife, so we gotta zoom back. Um, I got it in the, uh, the emerald translucent scales. I really like that. Um, but this just has a great tool set. I, I never feel like I'm unprepared when I have this one. It's got the, you know, the large knife and small knife uh, blades. Use a small small blade most of the time, and then keep the big one clean and sharp for food. Um, they're excellent large scissors. And then this is the layer that makes it kind of special. It's got the magnifying glass and Phillips number two Phillips driver in line. You can use a can opener as an, as an inline Phillips but it won't work on recessed screws so that eliminates a lot of them and then you're you're never caught off guard when you have that one. And then the usual opener layer, bottle opener, can opener with screwdriver tips. On the back we've got the corkscrew I like that because I'm a wine drinker and then um, micro screwdriver and since it's the plus model it's got the ballpoint pen here and a pin there underneath the corkscrew don't laugh about that pin because when you get a splinter that's really nice to use that in conjunction with the tweezers to help get it out only four layers thick uh, so it's not super thick, it's a little bulky for pocket carry, but it's doable without being uncomfortable, so Explorer Plus. Next, CyberTool 34 slash M. Uh, going forward it'll be called the M. This one has uh, the same stuff as the Explorer, but instead of having the dedicated inline Phillips, it has this CyberTool, which is just awesome. It's nice and long, so it can get to recessed screws. Uh, the standard bit that it comes with is a medium flat head on one side and a number two Phillips on the other side. And it's a hardened number two Phillips. So that really holds up well. And it also locks it at 90 degrees. And then in case you don't need either of those two, you've got your other bits here. You've got three different sizes of Torx. I think that's a, a four millimeter hex driver on the other side of this one. And then two more Phillips. Number one and a number zero. So super useful. That is a, that's a really thick layer you can see. 
but it's worth it. But, oh, and then I forgot to mention, you got two different sizes of uh, hex driver in the end there. The smaller one holds the the bits, or will drive a, a, a nut, and then the bigger one is a different metric nut size. So as I was going to say, that's a thick layer, but you've got lots of functionality for that thickness. So totally worth it. We've got the pliers. Um, I could have gone without that on this, but uh, it comes in handy more than you think it would. It's just a nice precision pliers. Much stronger than a tweezers, but not as strong as a dedicated pliers. And then next to that, of course, is the ever useful scissors, which we've talked about, and the blade layer. Big blade, little blade. It's got the plus scales, just like I talked about on the Explorer. So you get the ballpoint pen, the toothpick, uh, and the tweezers, and then the pin next to the corkscrew there. So CyberTool M or CyberTool 34 if it's an older one. A little bit bigger one is my uh, number four here, the Trekker non serrated one handed opening. So this is the one I like to take with when I go out for a hike, go out in the woods or something. You can just pop this blade right open. It's a nice thick spine on that. Easy to open with that uh, oval hole. Long enough edge to be useful, you know, if you need to chop some little branches out of the way or even, you know, cut up your food a little bit. It's got a nice liner lock. Liner lock goes the wrong way, but that's okay. We won't hold that against them. And then they use the other end of that liner lock to lock the, the large flathead screwdriver. So you can use that as a light duty pry bar. And uh, can opener, screwdriver tip, and a nice long double cut saw. Put your index finger through the hole here and get a good grip for sawing. That works like crazy. Also, I think the saw on uh, Swiss Army knives probably draws more blood than the knife blade. People are afraid of the knives, but the saw is the one that'll bite you because you don't respect it as much. And on the back, number two Phillips and all toothpick and tweezers. So, one-handed trekker, non-serrated. And last but not least, the trusty work champ. This is another locking, 111 millimeter locking model. So this one's got the side lock instead of the liner lock that the Trekker's got. This is a little more elegant, I think. You just pull that switch back against a spring and then you can see that's locked. If I pull the switch back, and you can close it right up. And then on this one, the next thing is the pliers, but you've got this number two Phillips underneath there which is an inline Phillips, very useful. And then the file. Victorinox files are really good these days. Uh, they're kind of deep serrations, very sharp. And it's serrated on the side too, so you can cut metal with it. Softer steel would be fine. <clears throat> Saw again, very good. Scissors. Full-size scissors, of course, but this one's got the number one inline Phillips on the other side. Not too many of the uh, Swiss Army knives have a number one Phillips. Uh, this one and the Hercules and maybe the Outrider until you get to the really big ones. And then corkscrew, toothpick, tweezers, all. So work champ. That's definitely a sheath carry. Uh, it's too heavy for the pocket. Or you can hang it on your belt. Uh, and so it dangles into your pocket, and that's really good. So, once again, work champ, one handed trekker, non serrated, Cyber Tool M or 34, Explorer Plus, Manager. Those are my top five. Thanks for watching.